Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, brush stroke logo opener, like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp. 1920 by 1080, this is our main comp, now create one more composition, and this is our placeholder one comp, drag your image into the timer line, and resize according to the comp, now create another new composition, I call this brush one comp, here I have brush footage, so drag the brush footage into the timer line, here you can see. Now go to main comp, and drag, placeholder and brush comp into the timer line. Select placeholder layer, and change track matte luma matte. Perfect. Again select the placeholder and search tint effect. And change tint color as you like. Now duplicate the both layer, and move both layers few frame forward. Now select brush layer, right click, go to transform, and flip horizontal. This gives a different look to our brush. Now here you can change the tint color of this placeholder layer. Again duplicate the both layer, and move around 10 frame forward. We don't need the tint effect on this placeholder so delete them. Perfect. Now change first and second brush layer mode overlay. And also transform top brush layer flip vertical. Cool. Now go to project window and create a new comp. I call this lines. Then create a new black solid layer. Select the layer and search Venetian blinds effect. Transition completion around 85% And width 6 Add direction 90 degrees Now go to main comp and drag lines comp into the timer line Here you can see Now create one more composition and this is our text one comp. Select text tool and type your text. Now animate the text, so open text layer, go to animate, and select tracking. Go to around 20 frames forward, and add a keyframe on tracking amount. Then go to first frame and change tracking amount minus 35. Select both keyframe and easy ease them and make your graph like this. Perfect. Now drag brush comp into the timer line, change matte luma matte. Cool. Go to main comp and drag text one comp into the timer line. Select all layer and pre-compose them, I call this scene 1. Now go to project window, and duplicate the scene 1. 
then drag scene 2 comp into the timeline, and move 20 frames forward. Open scene 2. Here we need to change placeholder 1. So select all 3 placeholder layer. Then go to project window and duplicate placeholder 1 comp. Hold alt key and drag placeholder 2, into the timeline, here you can see our placeholder 1 replace with placeholder 2. Now open placeholder 2 and change your image. Resize according to your comp. We also need to change the tint colors, so change the tint colors according to your choice. Now go to main comp, and here you can see. We also need to change the text. So go to scene 2, select text layer, then go to project window, and duplicate the text 1 comp. Hold alt key and drag text 2 into the timeline, open text 2 and change your text. Here you can see. Similarly we need to create around 10 scenes. So duplicate the scene and replace your placeholders and text. As we have done with scene 2. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After creating scenes our comp look like this. Cool. Now drag grunge footage into the timeline, and change layer mode screen. Then drag flicker footage into the timeline, and change layer mode screen. Select the layer and search curve effect, and make your curves like this. Select all scenes and convert into 3D layer. We need to add some effects to our scenes. So select any one layer. And search CC Repetile effect. Expand area 200 pixels. And tiling unfold. Then search glow effect. And glow intensity point 2. Now copy both effects, and paste it on other layers. Now create a new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. Go to around 7 second forward and add a keyframe on position. Then go to first frame. And move the Z position, close to the camera, around minus 1400 pixels. And last keyframe around minus 2000 pixels. Select all layers and pre-compose them, I call this all scenes. Now go to project window, and create a new composition. I call this logo. Then drag your logo into the timeline. Resize according to you. Now search fill effect, and change fill color white. Now go to around 7 second forward, and split the layer. Select top layer, press P for position, and add a keyframe, then go to around 20 frame forward, and move the logo little bit top side of the comp.
Select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Now select text tool and type your text. Now go to 7 second forward, and trim the text layer. Now open text layer, go to animate and add opacity, and change opacity 0%, then open range selector, and add a keyframe on start, then go to few frame forward, and change start 100%. You can move the layer few frame forward, when our logo goes to the top side of the comp. Now go to main comp, and drag logo comp into the timeline. Select bottom layer and change track matte alpha matte. Now duplicate logo and all scenes layer. Move all scenes bottom of the all layers. Go to around 5 seconds forward. And trim the first all scenes layer, from front side. Now select both all scenes layers, press T for opacity. And add a keyframe. Change top layer opacity 0%. Then go to one frame forward, and change opacity 100%. And bottom layer opacity 0%. Now we need to animate out logo. So go to 5 seconds forward. Make sure turn on top logo layer. Select both logo layers, press P for position. Also turn on 3D layer and shift T for opacity. Go to around 2 seconds forward. And add a keyframe on position. Then go back to 5th seconds. And move the Z position close to the camera. Select last keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now go to first keyframes, and add a keyframe on opacity, and opacity amount 0%. Then go to last keyframe and change opacity 100%. Here you can see. Perfect. Now create an adjustment layer, and search curves effect, and adjust your curves. Now search noise effect, uncheck use color noise, and noise amount 10%. Perfect. Our animation has done, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.